Hi, I'm Brandon Smith and I'm a product manager here at YSI and I work with our ExoSon platform. One of the unique features of the Exo platform is that our pH sensor comes with a replaceable tip. All the chemical reagents that are used in the sensing technology are housed here. So when you run out, instead of replacing the entire pH sensor, you just got to replace the module. This video is going to cover that process. The first step is to remove any old stickers that might be around the module. And once that's accomplished, you're going to use a flathead screwdriver to remove a small square plug in this first initial ring. Just dig in there. Be careful though, don't injure yourself. Now you should notice that there is an empty space where you just pulled the plug out. So step two is to squeeze very tightly around this area and then with your other hand pull the module out. This might be a little bit difficult but eventually the sensor should come in two pieces. Now at this point it's very important that you take a look inside the cavity and make sure that that's clean of any debris. If you notice that there's anything in there. I recommend using an, a bottle of compressed air to just, just clean it right out. Now that we've uninstalled the old module, let's install the new one. Step four is to inspect the new module that came with your kit. It should look something like this. You'll want to remove it from its housing for storage. Remove all the caps all the extras and you should have something that looks very similar to this. So step four is to inspect these o-rings at the bottom. You want to make sure that there's no nicks, no issues with that guy, no contaminants, no particles, anything like that. So just keep it nice and clean. And in addition you want to, you want to have a nice light coat of Krytox grease placed right around those o-rings. Step five is now to install the new sensor module into the probe base. So inside the cavity here, you can see that there's plenty of slots. There's a larger, uh, a larger opening and a smaller opening. You want to make sure that those line up with the pins that are on the bottom of the module itself. So once you have those guys lined up to the best of your ability, you can kind of plug it in about halfway. You can just feel in there to make sure that you're lined up. Finally, just plug it in, make sure it hear a click, and then you have it installed. The final step is to apply a sticker with the date of installation and just wrap that right around and you're finished. So that was the process for replacing a pH module on an XOPH sensor. Make sure though that before you take this new sensor out into the field to collect data, that you calibrate it in desktop core or the handheld. And finally, last but not least, when you are ordering your replacement kit, make sure you get the right version. There's four in total, they're shown on the screen here, and make sure it matches up with what you currently have. Thanks for watching.